Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you Sebastian's favorite recipe. This is a recipe for a raisin bread. In Polish we would call it ciasto drożdżowe z rodzynkami. It is delicious. It's delicate. It's sweet. It's a tiny bit hint of cinnamon there. Amazing. I hope you guys are going to give it a try. I'm starting with adding lukewarm milk and I'm going to be using my bread machine but you can use a stand mixer with a hook attachment no problem so milk I'm adding honey I'm usually warming my honey a little bit in the microwave so it's easier to uh, to pour it and then I have my melted butter again I'm usually using microwave to melt it you, around 30 seconds and it's good then we have an egg and then we go for salt. We always need to add some salt, you guys. It brings all the flavors. Then I'm going to add the flour. And I found that uh, if I'm doing it in a, a stand mixer, if the order is the same, like I'm adding it to my bread machine, it still works perfectly. Cinnamon. And then I'm adding my yeast and raisins. Now, this is one cup and a half of raisins. Usually I would be adding one, but Sebastian always tells me it's not enough. So if you guys are fans of raisins, one and a half cup is perfect. And this goes into my bread machine and I'm going to be using the dough setting. Okay, and in the stand mixer you would go with it for around five minutes until you have a nice smooth and elastic ball of dough. Okay, and here you are watching because we want the also elastic ball. If we don't have enough flour, it's going to be sticky. We would be adding like one tablespoon at a time just to make it look like this. Yeah, if it's too dry, you want to add a tiny bit of milk. But usually it is good. That's how it looks when the cycle is done. Now in your stand mixer, you would uh, make the dough elastic then you would spray it and leave it for an hour and a half to rise and this is after the dough reason I'm spraying it in with the non-stick spray I have avocado oil spray and right now I'm going to arrange it in the uh, rectangle as you can see then I'm cutting it into three lines because we're going to be braiding it here we go. I'm going to roll each a tiny bit. I'm trying to be gentle with it, but that's what's happening. Here we go. We roll it and now we're going to braid it. So one over the other. Here we go. From the outside. Always from the outside to inside. Here we go. Out, in. Out, in. From one side, then from the other. I think that's easy. I hope you guys can, can do that. Here we go. And now this is our bread ready. I was fixing that at the end. Now I'm transferring it to my form. And then I'm going to, here we go, that's how it looks like. I'm going to um, brush it with the melted butter so it doesn't dry out. And this is ready to rise. I'm going to cover it with the plastic wrap here on top and leave it for around an hour, 45 minutes, an hour until it fills in the form, just like this. Now I have my oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to brush my uh, dough with melted butter. Here we go. It's going to add a great flavor. And this is going to bake for around an hour, 55 to an hour. Now I am covering it halfway through when it risen with the uh, aluminum foil so it doesn't burn because you want it to be well baked but you don't want it to burn and it's pretty sweet so it tends to burn so you want to cover it okay this is ready we're going to let it cool before we're going to be cutting it and it's ready to cut it is delicious guys when it's still a little bit warm with butter mmm it's yummy Sebastian loves it I'm usually baking the whole bread and then I'm cutting it in slices and I'm freezing the parts I know we will not eat because I'm not eating it anymore as you know guys I'm not eating sugar or honey for that matter so this is mostly for for kids and Kathleen 
or guests. So I'm cutting the slices and then I'm freezing it. Then you put it in a toaster. It's amazing breakfast. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye. Smacznego.